Hey there, it's the Kelly Grio. Um, I want to talk to you tonight, of course, about Will Smith and what happened. But that's not really the topic. It's not really about Will Smith or Chris Rock or Jada Pink. What this is going to be about is defending yourself as a black man, your family, or others. You know, you can defend others, right? Stand your ground, all that good stuff, right? Or not. How far are black men especially allowed to protect and defend themselves, their property, their wives, and their children? You think they can go to any limit? Does it matter who they're defending against? Does it matter if that person is black or white? What you think? You think there might be anything on the books about how far white people can go? Is there a limit on what they can do to us? And are we limited in what we could do to them? Are we limited as what we can do to each other? Black to black. What happens when it goes from black to white? What if Chris Rock would have been white? What if Chris Rock was Joe Biden? Does that sound odd to ask? Because to me... The reason I believe that Kamala Harris was chosen and Judge Jackson Brown is because they have white husbands that won't do the Will Smith response if they put their hands on insult, say the wrong thing, hurt her feelings in any way. What is that black man going to do? Joe Biden's afraid of corn pop. Remember corn pop? It's in his, uh, it's in his, uh, what do you call that when you write, you write it about yourself? Memoirs. Joe Biden had a problem with the little kid at a pool, at a section eight pool when he was a lifeguard. The kid had, was supposed to put on his bath bathing cap because he had a lot of hair. And I'm, I'm assuming he's saying corn pop because that's a cereal and our hair looks, uh, what you call it, nappy or BBs or whatever. And he was trying to make a boy put on a swim cap and the boy told him, I'll see you. I'll see you after uh, after this. You know, refused to take an order from Joe Biden when he was young. So Joe Biden goes and tells the maintenance guy at the pool that he needs something because, of course, Joe Biden says they all was carrying switchblades back then. They all had knives. So he's going to try to make you believe, like he believes, that this boy is at the swimming pool at the Section 8 place with a knife in his, what, trunks? So Joe Biden can remember the pool maintenance man who was a white man. He can remember his name. But he calls this young man that he was so afraid of, feared for his life, in a pair of trunks with nothing in his hand. Go read that story. He tells that story. He's so afraid that this white man gave him a chain to go out with. He wasn't leaving without a weapon. So you know what that's called? Unequal force. See, that white man was going to do it and get away with it. He wouldn't have been charged if he took that chain after that young man or those young men. There was more than one. So his little silver tongue, at the end of the day, talked to, talked to the boys. I guess he apologized to Corn Pop. Corn Pop accepted his apology. And that silver tongue politician was born. But what happens 
with that. It turned into 2.5 million black men in prison. Did you hear him at the 1994 Senate when he was putting in that crime bill that was called Biden's Law? And all them Democrats voted for it? Hmm? When they say stop crime, they're not talking about the white people. Okay, first of all, that's a dog whistle. Fighting crime, they ain't fighting it when it comes to uh, these politicians. It's doing sedition, running up in the Capitol. <laughs> they get trespassing. Not assault with a deadly weapon. Not an equal force. None of those things that they will pull out the bag on us. Right? So Joe Biden gets black women to elevate who have no Will Smith as a backup. You know, the one thing that they say we have a right to do is to pr protect our own life. Against who? Against who? And who is who who is who is the person that we are defending our lives from? Because if it's someone white, we're not even allowed to fight back. If you do and you hurt one of them, what's gonna happen? That brings us to ozone. Did he hurt him or did he not hurt him? We didn't see more than the two of them standing next to each other when that man, that, that cop said, sit, sit, sit. That was the response. Ozone says, hey, what's happening? What's going on? His response is sit, sit, sit. Charlie, seven, seven, seven. We didn't see anything after that. But now it's premeditated, first degree. How do you get first degree when you just drove up in your car parked and someone run up on you? Run up on you, talking crazy. You try to leave. And we see what happens. They are supposed to let you go. If you try to walk off, you try to drive off, they are not supposed to shoot you in your back. I don't care if you committed a crime already. If you rob a bank, they ain't supposed to shoot you in the back. But they do us. Where does this all come from? If you get a chance, go to find uh, any speech by Dr. Joy DeGruy. Now, this sister's got four, four degrees and they're not bachelor of arts they're master's degrees in psychology sociology and i've forgotten what else but she has made a determination as a psychologist who works with people to this day that we have post-traumatic slave syndrome they were making laws that said we were crazy if we tried to run away that was a syndrome Okay, they made law, a law in 1705 in Virginia. And I wish I had my phone. You could pull it up. Go on to my channel. It's on there. I put Dr. DeGroy. I hope that's how you say her name. Dr. DeGroy, G-R-U-Y. It's like French. It's D-E-G-R-U-Y. Her first name is Joy. She's at a conference where she's teaching other therapists about post-traumatic slave syndrome. What happens if the violence didn't happen directly to you, but you're raised by someone that had had that experience, who can't sleep, who's easily uh, startled, a quick startle response. All these things came from slavery and our reaction to being beaten and terrorized. So in the, in the Bible, for those who have read it, know about it, all I have to say about Will Smith is that he did what he was supposed to do. Why? Thirsty dogs. 
Why? Because the Bible says somewhere, I'm not going to quote it, I can't quote it, but that a man covers his wife. That's what husbands and wives do. That's one of the reasons they did not want us to marry. Because not only do you have a right to protect your own life, you have the right to protect your wife and your children's lives. So if they allowed a black man to have this contract with this black woman, or Joe Biden allows a high-ranking black woman to have a contract with a black man that makes them one. That makes him equally powerful as the vice president. Equally powerful as the Supreme Court justice. He will be on the global stage as a representative, as her helpmate, right? But no, because Joe Biden is so terrified that corn pop, pop might show up at the barbecue. He makes sure every black female has a white husband. Because he's afraid of a Will Smith response when he fondles and does what he does to every woman I've seen him with. I don't care what age. Are you even watching him on the global stage? He gets so close up, he can sniff your ears. Yeah, honey, he want to sniff your ears or do something. I know I wouldn't want him on me or my daughters or my sons for that matter. But he's all close up and belly to belly personal. Well, my belly is too close to something else for you to be that close to my belly. So. All I'm really trying to say in all of this, we have violence, we have bullying of ourselves, our families, and others that we love and care about, right? So, this 1705 law in Virginia gives a slave master the right for correction. Correction. She can correct Anybody she chooses, and she can go as far as she wants, all the way to death. So if I want to put you to death in front of everybody just to prove a point that I can, what are the rules? Whatever I say they are, when I say what they are. Because as soon as you don't obey me, I can do anything to you. Anything. They found out that white women were killing black children at a rate that they had to institute this law. Oh, no, we're not going to take them to trial. We're not going to charge them. Matter of fact, it's going to be as if they had never committed this crime. As if this person just never existed. We're just not going to talk about him ever again. We're not writing it down. We're not filing charges. because. The white man has a right to do whatever he wants to his property. So whose property is who? If I marry this black man, now I'm his property, but he can't own property. And I can't sue him according to Dred Scott's Supreme Court decision. I can't sue a white man for injuring me, my family, my property, my mule, my dog. I have to just grin and bear it. Because if I rise up, they'll lynch me. And after they lynch me, I'm not there to do the farming. They take my wife's property. My children go destitute. Sound familiar? Because that is what they're trying to do with ozone. They're trying to correction. The correction is extreme. The correction can be whatever. The correction can be whatever I say it is. The law is whatever I say it is. And if I say he was sitting in his car premeditating to murder this person that's going to walk up on him in a few minutes, then it's what it is. doesn't matter what you see. doesn't matter what you hear. I'm going to tell you he did it. But did he do it to do what? Preserve his right? To happiness, the life, the right to life, 
liberty and pursuit of happiness. Isn't that what Will Smith's movie was? Pursuit of happiness. But we don't have all these human rights we think we do in the United States, do we? So they take this, 19, this 1705 law of correction by any means necessary, lynching, burning, um, whatever. I choose. And we know what they did in the Spanish Inquisition to their own people. So you know what they did to us, right? We could go into detail, but I'm not going to go any further than what I already have. So whether it's Will Smith defending his property, which is his wife, which was damaged, which was injured due to some words spoken. Does he have the right? Does he have the right to defend her honor? Her reputation. Because she has an illness. She didn't, just didn't go get a buzz cut like I do. I did this on purpose. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't want to. She can't grow her hair anymore. It's called alopecia. So whatever reason. My dogs are really getting on my nerves. For whatever reason. She didn't like it. I saw Will Smith with his mouth wide open laughing until he looked over his wife and saw her injury. That's when he said, wait a minute. She can't go slap him, so I got to go do it for her. I know Jay didn't want to slap him. I'm messing with my dog right here. I'm trying to keep him away from the camera. So. Do we have the right to defend our property? Do we have the right to defend ourselves? Do men, black men, have the right to defend their wives as property? You can't just go around messing and touching and doing stuff to my property. Especially when my property is valued based on her looks and her popularity. That's how they get paid, right? By the way, if you guys want lavender bundles, I make these from my own garden. And they are for purification. They are for what we say they're for. How about that? It can be for whatever I want it to be for. How about that? Do we have the right to do that? Just say whatever it is? Well, I do. I'm a shayologist. Yeah, I'm a shallogist. Look that up. Do we have the right to make our own words? Do we have the right to identify who we are? Do we have the right to defend ourselves against anyone, foreign or domestic? Because I don't think we do. And then when you do, you have to have a lot of money to do it. Will Smith has a lot of money. But ozone doesn't. Will Smith has so much money. Chris Rock probably doesn't know whether he wants to mess with them or not. Because he got to get in his pocket to get in his pocket. But when it's the state pressing charges against you. They go to any lengths. Let's not forget. What they do to our men who stand up for themselves. They tell him to sit, sit, sit. And then the correction comes. Huh? Yeah, 1705, state of Virginia. They never repeal these laws, do they? They're still in the books. So what does that mean? That means that they just recycle them. They still use them when they choose to or not. They didn't have to do what they're doing with ozone. Announce some first degree murder charge. And they didn't release all the video. 
What else didn't they do? What else do they set up? Because to them, it never mattered about us. The violence that they put upon us, whether it's the death penalty, they tell you it's for deterrence. They want to make an example out of you. They want to make an example out of ozone. If they don't make an example out of ozone, what does that mean? That other black men will say, hey, back up. What are you touching me for? Get back. You don't have the right to touch my body. You don't have a right to seize me. That's what it boils down to. Search and seizure. Once they grab you, they have seized you. They have to have probable cause. They never had probable cause, did they? To run up on ozone. Because this dude just does this on the... That was just habit for him. Other people can testify that he did that same stuff popping up in people's windows with the bully badge. Donate to othel.org. Get whatever you got. Because we all have that same Fourth Amendment right. But you can't have a right that you can't put that you, that you can't defend, that you can't authorize, that you can't hold up in court. You have all these constitutional rights, but if you can't defend those rights because you don't have money, you might as well not have the right. How can you have the right to defend but no money to do it? That they've made these attorneys, defense attorneys, so exorbitant in the cost that what? He needs 160 grand and it, there's not even 10 in there. Does that mean he's going to die from using a public defender? Well, you think about that when you go get a Happy Meal for $10. You can't get two hamburgers for under 20. So can you buy five Happy Meals at $10 a piece and throw in 50? How about the next time you buy a meal, you buy him a meal, but you put that meal on the ortho.org? How about that? How about find a way, like not have a cappuccino for $5 and stick that in there? Is there anything you can deprive yourself of that you're spending a little money on sundries? On a sundry you don't need, 99 cents. Two ninety nine. You know we buy anything that's under nine ninety nine. You got nine ninety nine. How about eight ninety nine? Seven ninety nine? Six ninety nine? Five ninety nine? Four ninety nine? What is he worth? Am I auctioning him now? Because that's what it feels like. We gotta buy him back from them. And if we don't buy him back, they're gonna keep him and kill him. So that means I'm talking about the death penalty. A penalty of correction from 1705. That's all they're doing. Keep telling y'all, read them old papers. Read them old laws. Read their old philosophy. Go read the master-slave philosophy. It's in, it's on Google. It's like the, um, it's like existential philosophy all these different types of philosophies are there including <laughs> the slave master philosophy it's there with the willie lynch papers why is it that we don't know that will smith has every right to defend his wife against any man or woman. What if it was a woman? I think Jada would have handled that, right? It was a man, so he handled it. Because one, two, one. And what about you? Do you have a right? Do you have a right to stop a cop 
from throwing you to the ground for no reason? Do you have a right to ask, why are you, why are you messing with me? What you touching me for? Get away. Do you have any rights at all? Or they just stick a collar on you and tase you and that's it. Unless you have money. Well, it's the money we talk about, honey. You need that good old cash, Ola. Whatever you got. It doesn't cost any money to send it. Type in Othal. O-T-H-A-L dot org. And donate. So he has a right to protect and provide and defend for his family. That he's out here able to do that. Because we got one more sister that's unprotected. Another set of kids that are unprotected. And that's how they get us. They've been doing this. Step up. Yeah, we can laugh and talk about Will Smith and how funny that was. Or wasn't. Whether it was appropriate or inappropriate. But I really do think. You just go on back to the Bible. Let it tell you. Don't mess with people's wives. Period. That would be the starter. Funny or not funny. That joke you see how they turn. Turn quick on a dime didn't it? Yeah it does. So. Don't expect Joe Biden. To nominate any females with black husbands. Because he's afraid of the Will Smith response. And Miss Watchman, I'm right with you. Okay, yeah, it's important that we remain focused. But let's focus on the complete total of all of what's going on, including what's going on with the celebrities. Because he is us too. He came from Philly. He was a little rapper. They just elevated him. See, they'll elevate you and de-elevate you. Right? Because it's all their power. If that's what you want to operate under their system, you have to operate under their rules. And really, whether we want to operate under their laws or not, we live here. Until they're rewritten, they are what they are. And they go all the way back to the 1700s. You saw Trump pull out the 1806 Insurrection Act. That was for us, too. They don't make these type of laws for them. Understand that first. Understand what Mr. Neely Fuller says. If you don't know that white supremacy is global and has no color, you will always be confused. It's the Cali Grio asking you to donate to othel.org to leave a comment. To go on over to IG, take a look at my highlights, my jewelry, some of it's for sale. All right, hit me back up and I'll see you again soon. It's the Cali Grio. Peace out.